Now let me read you a few scriptures here from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. In verse 1 it says, To everything there is a season and a time, to every purpose under heaven. Then in verses uh, 14 and 15 it says, I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God doeth it, that men should fear before him. That which hath been is now. That which has been is now. And that which is to be hath already been. That which is to be has already been. And God requireth that which is past. He's saying here that the things that have been are now. The things that now are, are what already has been. That's where you get a deja vu from. It's like a time machine. It's because this has all happened before. What has been is now. And what is now is what has been. Praise God. I don't know how else I don't know how to explain that one. It seems pretty clear what he's saying here, although it seems impossible. But yet it is possible. It is because all things are possible with God. And therefore, uh, the things that are taking place now already have been. The, the, how can that be? It's because from where God is, He sees all things at once. Past, present, and future. He sees the whole thing. The future is already been accomplished. We've already been through it. Right now we're sitting here in this little element of time. We're in this particular place in time right now. Uh, but we're just riding it out. Because we've been through it before. The future, what is going to happen tomorrow, it's already happened. When we get there tomorrow, we'll say what is now is what has been. So it's, uh, it's like uh, there's nothing new under the sun, is what he says. And praise God, all that is is what has been.